This is my right. It is the right of every human being. I choose not the suffocating anesthetic of the suburbs, but the violent jolt of the capital. That is my choice. The meanest patient is even the very lowest is allowed some say in the matter of her own prescription. Thereby she defines her humanity. Not a hope. Not a hope in the whole blinking wide world. I know my form, you see. Still, that is the part about it that I, that I hate the most. She's distinctly an odd one. Almost a case, mind of a child and all that. And yet she means quite a, quite a lot to me. I rather think you mean a lot to her, too. I would like to think so. You know, one's awfully apt to try and excuse oneself sometimes by saying, well, what I do doesn't do anybody else much harm. But one does, you see. It's not a thought that I like very much. No, I knew for sure you wasn't my pa. It's for sure I ain't your pa. Although sometimes I used to figure Mr. Connors could have been my pa. The way he touched my shoulder, get me things from the candy counter for free. And Mr. Pritchard, he smiled at me once real nice. Except they don't have my jar or nothing. 